So hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Grace and Cole Miss Astrology and Tarot. These are the full moon in Pisces. Now you see it readings. And for them, I am using my mirror of the soul Tarot. My archetype cards by Carolyn Miss. And two of my own custom decks. Uh, one is my energy alignment deck. All right, light and shadow on each side. This deck is a one of a kind right now, but at some point it will most likely be in my Etsy shop. So make sure to favorite the shop and um, keep keep tabs on me. <laughs> keep tabs on me and what I put in there, okay? I'm also using my new Divine Conversations deck, all right? And this is um, created with the intention because no matter what energy we're in, sometimes um, in particularly stressful ones or ones where we're worrying a lot or dealing with a lot of fear state, we have a very hard time hearing the mirror conversation that spirit's trying to have with us to keep us on track. And so this is to make sure that you do get a clear communication from spirit um, as to what the mirror conversation actually is. All right, so that you can stay in high alignment despite circumstances that may um, be challenging you beyond your control. Okay, so we are going to be using those four decks today. I do just want to take a moment and thank all of the individuals who participate in these events and purchase the secret code names because without them, these events would not be possible. Thank you very much um, on behalf of everybody who enjoys these messages and heals in divine time because you know the whole point of these readings is that even though they do belong to an individual and this personal reading for them is relevant to the time and space in their life that this recording is taking place you know the unfoldment of the full moon in pisces over the next two to four weeks um there's messages in here that are timeless, right? And divine time for those who are drawn to a secret code name or resonate to a secret code name uh, pops out at them, stands out to them for whatever reason. Um, there is a message in here for you. So thank you to everybody who participates, not just in their own healing, but the healing of everybody else that catches these. You are greatly appreciated. And if you are one of those souls who were drawn to it in divine time and are grateful that, you know, there is an individual out there who wanted to be present for you in energy, no matter when you, you catch this, drop a thumbs up, put a like on the video, leave a comment, say thanks, you know, whatever, whatever you feel, you know, as an expression of gratitude that they were able to be here for you today in spirit, right? Truly grateful for everybody who participates in these. And with that said, we are going to get right into it. Secret code name Rainbow Fish. All right, spirit. <laughs> what characters are at play in the story? Let's see them clearly. For secret code name Rainbow Fish. Who are the characters at play so that we can see them clearly, themselves included? Who are the characters at play so that we can see? Clearly. See it for what it is. Anybody else? Gambler, the martyr, and the healer. Give me some energetic alignments, please, Spirit. Describe the energy of these three people.
No, that doesn't belong there. Okay, spirit. Earth Angel is the top of the deck. Comfort Zone Stagnation is the bottom. That is the energy connecting the three of you. Earth Angel energy on top, recognizing the Earth Angel in you. That, that's the potential here. And to get out of the comfort zone, right? To get out of stagnation. Let's dive deeper. Give me some more insight into these three people. Almost. crazy how these cards fly out death on bottom queen of wands on top transformation and the desire of the soul <clears throat> what's the story going on with these three what is the story All right, Knight of Discs on the bottom. Princess of Wands on top. Okay. Overall, things are moving slow and it looks like you're just standing in front of this huge mountain and you'd rather be distracted than deal with the mountain. That's the underlying problem going on with the three of you. Everybody is self-aware that they need to transform, reinvent the self phoenix rising type energy okay with the princess of wands being on top everybody knows they need to upgrade nobody wants to do the actual work or take the steps to upgrade <laughs> that's why we're in that stagnation right okay so the gambler in their shadow they rely on luck rather than hard work their light attribute, they have a willingness to follow their intuition even when others doubt them. Okay, this person and their shadow is also condescending and joy-oriented. So when joy-oriented comes out as a light attribute, I feel like this person, I immediately heard instant gratification. They like instant gratification. They're joy-oriented and they're instant, instantly gratifying is what they're going after. What's easiest? <laughs> Easy and joy are being equated when they are not necessarily the same thing. And it's putting them in the Eight of Swords energy, which is interference. It's mental prison or mental static, right? Static thoughts. Puts them in states of worry where they're relying on luck to get out of it. Instead of making an honest effort, you know, putting in the hard work to make, make the changes right because what happens on the inner happens in the outer if you're not changing your inner and how you do things well then your outer is not going to change if you're not doing the hard work and you're relying on luck well what are your odds of hitting the lottery <laughs> what are the odds of your life changing hitting the lottery you know what i mean like come on so the gambler I feel like they walk ahead blind most of the time and, and say, well, it is what it is. And if it's in alignment, it's in alignment. Spirit will figure it out type thing. Instead of actually looking in the mirror, they're walking forward blind and they're not necessarily aware of their own vibration. And to be fair, the pattern for these readings has been person number one is the viewer. 
okay, the person viewing this reading. So you may be moving forward blindly, trusting whatever forces greater than you that be to change things when the change comes from within the self and the forces that are greater than you that be just simply align the outer experience to your inner experience. I don't think the inner experience is changing. I think you're relying a lot on spirit and a lot on luck instead of your own hard work and your own choices. You're not realizing that spirit is not outside of yourself. It's from, it's within yourself. Okay. Now the martyr, the shadow of the martyr is an addiction to self-pity. In their light, they're learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. The martyr is learning how to love themselves, addicted to self-pity. They are disrespectful and they have abandonment wounds. They're self-sabotaging. They're the martyr. They're always feeling sorry for themselves and they want everybody to feel sorry for them, but they're causing their own fucking problems feeling like a failure. Not putting in the effort, seven of coins. And this person is in your mirror. You're disrespecting yourself. You're abandoning yourself. You're self-sabotaging yourself by not doing the hard work. You want instant gratification. But sometimes the biggest gratification comes from the harder tasks that are not instant, short, easy, whatever. It's the long-term projects that reap the greatest reward. This person is constantly feeling sorry for themselves. And they probably are disrespectful to people in their environment, including you. They're disrespectful. They're afraid of being abandoned and so they literally push people away. Because if they push people away, then those people didn't leave them. They're the fucking martyr. Now the healer which is the other person in your mirror, a beautiful one at that, is highly aligned. Their energy is positive self-talk, courageous, empress energy. The shadow of this person would, would be taking advantage of those who need help and failing to care for themselves. But the light is passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. They have an ability to transform pain and healing. You have that ability with yourself. You don't have to fail to take care of yourself and take advantage of those that need you in order to avoid your hard work. You can have a passion, right, to serve others by repairing your own body, mind, and spirit. Your ability to help transform pain into healing. Your own pain into healing. If you were your guardian angel, what would you tell you to do? If you were your own guardian angel, how would you advise yourself? What words would you have for yourself if, if you were a guardian angel? This person, positive self-talk. They don't talk down to others in their mirror, okay? Because this person asks to be verbally nailed to the cross, okay? And this person might be more patient as the healer. This person has a lot of courage. They've talked positively in the mirror. And the mirror is with people in their outer experience. So you might have no patience for this person where this person has a lot of patience for this person. And this person is showing you, you can have patience for them. Disrespecting them is just feeding their shadow. It's validating their failure mentality. It's, it's making it a vicious cycle, right? Their addiction to self-pity. You're feeding their addiction. Just walking ahead blindly and not considering what you're saying in the mirror to other people. 
That's why this person's in your reality to lead by example. So that you can take the pain you're experiencing with this person, the frustration you're, you're getting with this person, where you feel like this person's a fucking idiot that you're talking down to, you know, you're talking down to them in some which way, shape or form or talking bad about them, right? Then you're actually in your divine mirror talking bad about yourself and you might not realize it. Like you might be calling this person such a fucking idiot and in the divine mirror of things, spirit is looking at you like you in that mentality calling them a fucking idiot means you're a fucking idiot because they're fucking healing. They have an addiction to self-pity. They have abandonment wounds. This is how they get attention. They self-sabotage for attention. They're disrespectful for attention. They push people away because they're afraid that people are going to leave them. They don't love who they are. And you're talking about them like they're a fucking idiot when they're just fucking wounded and they're learning and they've got a hard lesson on them right now to learn. Why can't you shift perspective? Why can't you take your blindfold off? You might seriously want to consider getting some Reiki. I highly recommend uh, Tanya Tomes, Coach TT. You can find her on Facebook. Matter of fact, I'll put I'll put her information in the comments after. If it's not in there when you watch this back, remind me and I'll grab it for you. Awesome Reiki. Worth every fucking penny. Tanya's amazing. I've had Reiki with her myself. She's phenomenal. But yeah. You, you definitely have to find out where this shadow comes from within yourself. Who did you watch say fuck it and rely on luck rather than put in the effort when it came to themselves? When it came into changing and shifting and getting out of stagnation, right? Getting out of those shadowy comfort zones. It's easy to blame other people. It's easy to blame other people and let their energy control you. It's a challenge to rise to, to be sovereign, to not allow the energy of others to affect you. That you wouldn't allow this person's self-sabotaging, self-pity, drag you into their vibration, their lower vibration, and make you condescending and talk shit in your own mirror. That you would let this person take your peace away. This person is teaching you how to receive Empress level. The story going on here. We've got the justice card adjustment in this deck. With the Five of Coins, the Ace of Cups, the Death card, the Prince of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. The balance, right? The actual justice per universal law, right? The 12 universal laws. If you're not familiar with them, please Google them. Make yourself familiar. The balance, the karmic balance of things. It is worrying versus unconditional love. Unconditional love is what creates the transformation. It's what creates the spark, the mastery of spirit. The worry is what creates the ruin. And you choose to transform your reality via one or the other. But everything is balanced. Your energy manifests whatever it manifests. If you want to condescend and be and and you know not recognize the mirror that conversation that you're having with yourself, because the mirror conversation is it, you picture it this way: if you're if you're talking about someone else or talking to someone else, slide a mirror in between you and whoever you're talking to, and recognize that the reflection in the mirror looks like you, but it's your it's spirit. That's your spirit having a conversation with you. 
That's the mirror. That's the one-way mirror. You talking to you. Your higher self, your spirit talking to you. With your own words that you're projecting about or to someone else. The two-way mirror is understanding that this person is a reflection of you on the inner and this person is a reflection of you on the inner and you have to choose which one. Which one are you? Are you the earth angel? Or are you this person stuck in stagnation, your shadowy comfort zone, this person? Which facet that you're seeing is you? And recognize if you were to choose the light, the dark will naturally resonate out of your reality because you're no longer feeding their addiction to self-pity. They're going to go seek it elsewhere. They're not going to be in your reality anymore. And they'll be fine. Spirit has their back. Justice is justice. They'll learn. But you've got to choose which facet of yourself you want to live with. Especially if you know you're stagnating in a shadowy comfort zone versus being the earth angel that you are and allowing the healing to take place the way it needs to take place. Allowing people to propel forward to the next chapter of their learning because you closed yours. You closed that chapter. What is the divine conversation spirit is having with you that you might be missing amongst the shadows, right? The divine mirror conversation that you might be missing. Yeah, break the chains of guilt and pity. It's insulting to watch you do it. Insulting. Spirit. You are not the devil's bitch. That is the light green words that I've written on the card. You are not the devil's bitch. You do not do the devil's work for the devil. Because being in your shadow, condescending to this person, negatively speaking about this person, projecting that energy at them, that's essentially doing the devil's work. It's not light. It's not light. Jesus would never have that conversation. Kuan Yin would never have that conversation. Buddha would never have that conversation. I could not possibly imagine... Goddess Quan Yin calling someone a fucking idiot. Right, our ascended masters. Like, Archangel Michael's not going to look at someone and say, you're a worthless piece of shit. You're a good for nothing failure. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not light work. It's a devil's work. Break the chains of guilt and pity. Spirit says, if I had it my way, you'd be happy and fulfilled and satisfied. Why do you insist on suffering? It's your perception. Spirit had it Spirit's way, you would be happy and fulfilled. Why do you insist on suffering? Your fear is stalling your progress. Just say it. You've got nothing of value to lose. Just say it. Maybe you can't deal with this energy anymore. You don't want to. You love them. You care about them. But it's, you, can't, you can't deal with their shit. You just can't deal with their stuff anymore. Their energy. You can't do it. You don't want to do it. Like, just say it. You can tell someone you love them. But it's going to have to be at a distance. Because their energy. You, just, you can't be around it every day. You literally have nothing of value to lose because this person's value right now is really low energy. They have to learn how to increase their own value by picking up their energy. And you know you are wasting your money spending it on the wrong things. Help yourself. Pay off your debts and save as above and so below. You're blowing energetic currency in the wrong situations. You're accumulating karmic debt that results in ruin. 
pay off your karmic debts by freeing yourself of the energy drain. Save your energy. Save your energy. You don't see them for the toxic energy that they are. They're a demon in angel's clothing. Feel bad for me. No, it's their fucking fault. It's their fucking fault. They're disrespectful. They have, they're self-sabotaging. They're pulling the devil out of you. The devil in them is literally playing and pulling out the devil in you. And you don't have to have it there. For real. So if this has helped you see right now, you see it for what it is. The dynamic between you and these others for what it is. Now that you see it clearly. Please drop a like and let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know that it resonated. And that everything is definitely fucking clear. Because I would love to know. I would absolutely love to know if this has helped you see. God knows my love and support is with you always. Until next time. Take care.